Hello class, this is section 7.1 and in this video we are going to discuss Laplace transforms of step functions. First let's define a step function. It's simply a function that takes two values. It's equal to zero if t is negative and it's equal to one if t is zero or positive. So the graph looks really simple, it's just straight line until you hit the point zero and then it's going to be one. So this function is not going to be continuous and that's fine. Uh, we're, we're going to have to use Laplace transforms of uh, discontinuous functions to you know, to uh, solve differential equations in uh, future sections. We can also write our step function a little differently by writing instead ut minus a and setting it equal to zero when t is less than a and at one when t is greater than or equal to a. So we're just translating, shifting the function a little bit and the graph looks pretty similar to the way it did last time except that instead of at zero it jumps at a instead. So we're going to try to figure out Laplace transforms of these functions. Well, I guess I'll, I'll say here first that um, the book likes to write ut minus a as u subscript a t. But we're not going to do that for this video. To take the Laplace transform, we are just going to have to go back to the definition of Laplace transform. And this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e minus st u t minus a dt. So recall what u t minus a means. It means a function that is 0 when, when t is less than a and is 1 when t is greater than a. So it's clear that as long as a is non-negative, and we're going to make that assumption. We can write down a infinity e minus st dt because everything less than a, every time t is less than a, the function is just going to be zero. So this is a really straightforward integral to do. We're just going to do e minus st divided by minus s going from t to infinity to t equals a. And this is just equal to the limit as b goes to infinity of e minus s b minus s minus e minus s a over minus s. So we have to make an assumption here again. s has to be positive for this, this to work. But if s is positive, the exponential is negative. The, I mean, the power of the exponential is negative. And when b hits to infinity, this guy goes to 0. And this term becomes e minus s a over s. And that is indeed the value of our Laplace transform. The Laplace transform of u t minus a is equal to e minus s a over s, given s positive and a non-negative. In particular, the Laplace transform for jump at 0 is just going to be 1 over s.